Okay, Helen. <clears throat> Hello, I'm uh, Helen Pappas, and I want to thank you for attending our virtual porch sale 2023. This means a lot to us. It's a great opportunity for us to share our art with you. And so I picked five pieces with the idea of taking you through sort of the creative process. You'll see my work is um, very different because I tend to see art as a self-discovery healing process. And that's where it is right now in my life. I've been painting and involved with art for probably about seven years or more. Seriously, probably the last four to five years where it's really consumed me with wanting to know how colors, textures, layering, mixed media works, um, all the different words that you learn, the vocabulary that goes with art is a whole nother whole thing that you learn along the way. So it's been an exciting journey. I wanted to share it in this format of see, you seeing five paintings that look quite different, but what they meant to me and how they uh, came about so that everybody could see themselves as an artist and see themselves that this process of participating in painting, constructing, layering, grouping objects is all an artistic uh, venue. And it and it's so it's so exciting to do. So um, the five paintings that I represented is um, represent my journey. And I hope that it will encourage you to participate in this uh, type of process. First painting here is called titled um, Foggy Morning. It is inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe. She's a Southwest artist. I'm sure you're familiar with her. She is known for a very minimalist way of presenting very large views of things. And um, because I was born and raised in the Southwest, you'll see my my paintings tend to always have some sort of Southwest flair to them um, in the landscapes and the colors I choose, the contrast, it, it, it always kind of shows up. And I wanted this painting, like most what you've heard from all of us, it's probably like five paintings. There's easily five to six layers of, of paint on this uh, board. If you look really carefully, like especially in the blue light area, you'll see the textures. And there's an infinity sign that's actually embedded in there. Um, there's that right at the horizon. There's this whole idea of sort of almost like a stencil sort of thing going on, but it isn't. It's just the way that the, the paint went down over the different layers. And then when I sand it, certain layers start to appear and certain ones recede. I used gold, um, 14 karat gold, uh, to give that glowing effect to it and to contrast it with the dark Payne's gray, which I absolutely love and I use a lot of. So this one is a, a sort of a minimalist inspired by my, my uh, hero, Georgia O'Keeffe. And um, I also seal it with cold wax so that it doesn't have a real glossy finish, but it is sealed. The comment is that it is glowing. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you enjoy it. So the next one is a real fun one. It happens to be my dear granddaughter, Aaliyah's favorite painting. She likes it because it's happy and she enjoys um, just the colors that are in it, which interesting enough, they are complementary colors of red and green, but you don't really think of it that way because of the, the way the colors are blended, the textures that you see. Um, and it comes from, the word comes from the Azalea Gardens that I visited. Um, there's 22,000 bushes in this garden. And when you walk through it, there's a variety of blooms in all process of being fresh and saturated and beautiful on the branches just popping out of their, their um, pods. And then there's others that are in there progression of decay. And so there's just this whole sense of life by just looking at the colors and the shapes that are in that painting. Mm -hmm. And I, I really enjoy doing it just to see this whole process of life and how, you know, it just has this cycle. So that's why I really like that one. And it's interesting that 
going to a garden produce this painting? The um the I usually you think of pink as like pale and green as dark and the way you've kind of made the pink so vibrant and then the green is more of a sage green is really cool. Mm -hmm. It's what I've been experimenting with is how colors being put next to certain next to each other, how you get a different reaction when you mm -hmm. like you would think how, how the green works next to the pink next to the dark um, that whole idea of values and how the values work to contrast and your eye visually does different things with it so mm -hmm. that that was sort of the experiment that I went through with that one too so thank you for noticing that so this one's just fun the next two will be very different quite fun and um, has to do with a lot of my, you know, self-discovery healing journey that I'm on. A spirit animal. This, of course, is the crow, um, kind of an ornery, um, boisterous, you know, intelligent little thing. And I purposely did it through mixed media. There's a lot of mixed media. This is an eight by ten by one and a half cradle board. So it's a very compact little painting, but. I wanted to use the very saturated color of the sky, very saturated, comparing it because like like my uh, friend Stephanie said, we're really looking at differences. So I really wanted to play with a lot of differences with this. So you have this sky that's very solid. You have instead of a straight horizon, a, a you know curved horizon. And then in the yellow part, which is filled with, all the little solid, little tiny lines, very subtle movement and very purposefully put in there through the sanding and the layering and that you get this whole other texture going on in the background. And then you have the mixed media of the painting and the collage paper and purposely not wanting it to blend into the painting. It was very purposeful to do it that way. Um, and to sketch it on there and make it look like it does stand out from the whole painting. And interesting enough, it's called Kaka, -ka, which means when I researched the the <laughs> the uh, crows, they will do two crow two kakas when they're kind of calling to each other, like saying, "Where are you? Where are you?" Where where are you? They'll do three cacas if they're saying danger, danger, there's a dog in the area or there's something problem. So this one is called caca and it's just like, where are you? Like, where are you? It's the spirit animal asking, you know, um, kind of, where are you? What are you doing out there? Let's, let's, let's play. So the next painting, that's exactly what I did. This one, as you can see, is just filled with mixed media. It's got everything going on there. There is nothing that is really conforming. There is nothing that it looks um, like any other painting I've ever done. It is filled with collage. It's got a warning in there saying that if you, <laughs> you're going to turn out ordinary, <laughs> if you don't be a bit careful, it's going to be different. And it kind of is, a, is responding from the last painting, which is, where are you? What are you doing? You know, you're staying in this really safe zone. You know, you always do this just, you know, really technical thinking about how colors work with each other. You can get it really locked in your head with as an artist. And this one, I totally broke through. I totally broke into a whole new way of laying down paint, like those viney sort of uh, fractal things. That's a really awesome way of just laying paint and pulling it off the off your pa uh, paint, off the wood. And when you do that, it creates this fractal, this sort of, you know, veiny sort of viney thing. And I thought it was awesome and really cool. And you'll see a lot of that. You'll see some of the gold. You'll see um, other types of paper. Um, and of course, the woman that's there, because this is called a hero journey woman, uh, I went into a study of just, you know, our archetypal roles that we put on as, as women. And um, all of a sudden, this, this woman comes out. And I feel that the red is there for the passion and that a woman brings to the world and how... Um, sometimes it comes across as a scar or sometimes it can be growth of, of new life coming out of, of, of her either way that you want to perceive it. You can see the patch 
work of her different parts of her life and the things that have, you know, the stars and the challenges as well as the, the joys that she's experienced. So it just kind of throws the whole thing up there with all this symbolism. Um, and I, I just, you know, wondered when it was done, like, do I like this? Is this even beautiful? Is it beautiful? Um, I did a lot of questioning, which is an interesting thing. I think I, I would imagine a lot of artists do it when you break out and do something completely out of your comfort zone or out of what you want to do, you wonder how it's going to be received by others because the first person that has to receive it is the artist. And, um, and it's usually difficult. It's a very difficult thing to say, yeah, I'm going to trust that this is, this is, this is art. This is art. So this is part of the journey. So the next one, which I can't remember which one is. Oh yeah. This, this one. <laughs> okay. So this one comes full circle. If you'll notice it, if you, you had to compare it, the first one and the second one, or the first one and the last one, you'll notice they're very similar. They're the layered horizon colors. Um, but what you'll see from this one is there is, it's canvas, it's not wood. Um, so therefore I can't, you would think I couldn't sand it and scrape away at things, but I figured out how to do that on canvas. So there's a lot of layers, lots and lots of layers on this tiny piece. It's only seven and a half by seven and a half canvas. It's just very small. Um, and I did a lot of scraping, a lot of layering. And this came from my trip to Italy, um, from my trip. And when I was there, there was a lot of vistas. There's a lot of beautiful fields, a lot of the cypress trees, a lot of the traditional things you would see in Italy. But I wanted to capture a different feeling. And it was just the feeling of space and beauty and the sky and distance and depth and you know walking and I wanted I wanted light to show I wanted I wanted to play with the feeling of light and um through the different layers and not so much you know I wanted you to see light and I think as you look at the close-up part of the um, painting you can see light and see it through different layers uh, middle part is is getting there. It's probably not the best part, but it's something that I'm working on. So this is my goal of where I'm moving toward is what I want to do, abstract landscapes and lat, um, and and that's what my goal is to do for the next couple months, 50 of these, 50 oh, landscape wow. abstract landscapes. And that's my goal. So that is what I wanted to share with everyone. I really want to thank you for being here. And I really appreciate that everybody has taken time to out of their evening to listen to what we've had to share and, and find this connection to your creative process. It's a great gift to us to share this with you. Um, I do have a website. You are welcome to join it, follow it. Um, we can find each other on social media. I'd love to talk more with everybody.